So the Mass General Crohn's and Colitis Center is, um, I think, a special place. Um, uh, we have a group of gastroenterologists and a group of surgeons who work very closely together. I mean, there are other specialties, specialists who are also involved, like radiologists, pathologists, uh, uh, psychologists, nutrition, uh, nutritionists, um, social workers. There's a whole, a whole sort of group of caretakers, I guess, uh, that, that help. But, but primarily, um, IBD patients are taken care of by the gastroenterologist, number one, and then surgeons as sort of needed. We, we do have a great group of specialists here, and I have to say I'm uh, really have been honored over many years to work with the gastroenterologists in the Crohn's and Colitis Center who are just so good at what they do. They're real experts, and, and I feel so confident when I kind of tell patients that they're under the care of somebody who really sort of knows everything about these diseases, all the medications, the latest trials, that they're, they don't have to worry that they're not getting kind of access to the best you know, possible care. It is the kind of um, uh, disease or diseases that uh, require um, communication uh, between providers and, and we, again, work very closely together. We have a weekly meeting um, every Friday. We call it the IBD Forum, uh, where the surgeons and gastroenterologists get together and discuss patients primarily, um, sometimes other issues that come up. But directly talking about patients in this group is really incredibly helpful. Um, communication is so important and we can um, kind of make sure that we're all understanding the situation and and have full access to all of the kind of data also um, we're able to get opinions from other people um, other surgeons other gastroenterologists you know reviewing various x-rays uh, scopes uh, pictures pathology and so forth and, and able to get other opinions, which um, sometimes are really key to try to figure out the best approach. You know, when we're thinking about the future of IBD care, um, it's really exciting from a number of standpoints. Um, uh, I mean, I'm a surgeon and I don't deal as much directly with the medications, but um, the number of new medications that are being developed for IBD is just unbelievable. Almost, almost every year or two, there's a new medication that's either coming out on the market or about to come out and under trial and um, and they've really made a remarkable difference for patients and um, in fact um, we think have, have uh, saved a lot of patient surgery so uh, it saves them from me <laughs> which is in the, in the long run is a, is a good thing so it's really unbelievable um, the way um, sort of basic research in the in the research laboratory has been brought to the clinic. Uh, IBD is an amazing example of that where um, new discoveries being made in, you know, in cell culture, in animal models are then brought to patient uh, care, to clinical trials, and um, again have um, resulted in, um, you know, much better treatment for patients and more, more options uh, uh, for their diseases. On the surgical side, there have been a lot of advances. Uh, probably the most uh, obvious one is the minimally invasive approaches that we now use. Um, laparoscopic surgery, even robotic surgery. Um, when I was training and doing this, you know, 30 years ago, basically every, every patient that needed surgery got the full you know, zipper, so to speak, uh, from top to bottom, had a big incision, that was just what we did. And people didn't really know better or think there was any other way, and at the time there wasn't. But now we are able to do these same operations, really better operations, but do them through tiny little incisions or port sites. Uh, makes a remarkable difference uh, for patients. Um, recovery times are so much uh, quicker. Again, years ago, we used to do surgery uh, for patients with Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, and they would be in the hospital seven to 10 days routinely after surgery, and we'd say probably a six-week recovery at least, sometimes longer. Nowadays, we routinely send patients home after one or two nights in the hospital and talk about recoveries in a couple weeks. I mean, it's a, it's a much different uh, landscape and um, just getting better and better with the kind of techniques we have um, and various uh, um, innovations.